Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. My voice just cracked. <laughs> I think I'm maturing. <laughs> Your voice is about to change. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're going to drop soon. <laughs> we can help. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> no, I won't. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah, Lou. Hey, uh, what do Robert Kraft and a nail salon have in common? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I know. <laughs> That's on the very next Men Are So Smart. Well, unless you live under a rock, you've probably heard the news that New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft has been charged with two counts of soliciting prostitution in connection with a Florida spa tied to an international human trafficking ring, police said last Friday. Ronnie, this is serious, man. It's one thing to hire a hooker. It's another thing to be involved in human trafficking. Yeah, I, I mean, that's really, that's a little bit above and beyond. I mean, prostitution is legal in, well, at least one state that I know of. Yeah, only um, one that I know of. Yeah, but yeah, the human trafficking thing, that's, uh, that's unbelievably bad. So this spa was among 10 that was shut down by uh, in Orlando, uh, Palm Beach County, and the Treasure Coast after a several-month investigation revealed women uh, were in sexual servitude, according to the arrest records. Uh, detectives said the acts were also captured on surveillance video. Hmm. Oh Very my. convenient. Oh, my. That, I mean, how do you dispute that? Yeah, that's going to be tough. To, <laughs> I mean, yeah. You're going to have to have an 11-foot attorney. <laughs> yes. Kraft, 77, parentheses, Shouldn't he know better? Good for him, by the way. <laughs> Has not yet been arrested on the misdemeanor charges, according to the Jupiter Police Department. He bought the Patriots back in 94 uh, for $172 million. He is the head of the Kraft Group. Do they make the mac and cheese? I think they make the mac and cheese, yeah. yeah. A and holding the mayo. Company, yeah. yeah. Uh, a holding company with investments in a number of industries, as we've mentioned, including sports and real estate. He is estimated to be worth $6.6 .6 billion. Wow, that's only $6 billion more than I'm estimated to be worth. Yeah, you know what? At this point, there are no estimates for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's also crafted as a longtime seasonal resident. <coughs> Of Palm Beach County. In the, um, according to the Palm Beach Daily News, under Kraft's <laughs> ownership, the Patriots have played in 10 Super Bowls and have won a record tying six Super Bowl championships. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. You know, so they have uh, six rings and now seven. <laughs> <laughs> the seventh one's a prostitution ring, though. The, yeah. Well, along that same line, apparently Tom Brady isn't the only one that Kraft is paying to deflate his balls. <laughs> Oh, my. So I'm just saying. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah, we went there. Yeah. Didn't I think we it. would, but I, we did. I said it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, women, many of them from China, lived in the spa and were not permitted to leave, according to a county sheriff. The owner of that spa, Hua Zhang, 58, of Winter Garden, was arrested and charged with deriving support from the proceeds of prostitution <clears throat> keeping and frequenting a house of prostitution and 26 counts of procuring for prostitution. Wow, that is some serious stuff. I mean, he isn't he a family man? His wife died uh, about, I don't know, less than a year ago, I want to say. Uh -huh. So, I mean, he's He's got that behind him, at least, that, you know, he's not out there cheating on his wife. Okay, well, uh, but that's, still, news, that's information that's new to me. I'm sorry, yeah, I apologize. But still... A family man with children. It's it's human trafficking, yeah. and it's it's a little... I actually was involved, uh, I was a pop officer for a couple years with our department, and we did some vice uh, arrests, and we got people off of Craigslist who solicit right on Craigslist for... Hey, uh, I run a little dominatrix uh, thing out of my home, and we send in an undercover officer. And back in those days, we had we had wires. We had you know for narcotics arrests and stuff. But if you're getting a massage or something very, oh, you gotta take your clothes off. Yeah, there's no way to wear a wire. So what we would do is he would call us on his phone, and then leave his phone in his the pocket of his coat. 
take his coat off when he gets inside, and then we can listen. And then when he gives the bus signal, which is, you know, something as innocuous as, That hurts my foot! <laughs> hey, I've got a brother named Tom. Could he stop by or something oh, like that? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So then we go break down the door. We go in and stop it before he has to do anything. Well, this is, so that's just like uh, audio evidence. You know, you get a... Is that get, damning? Which is very damning because all you have to have for prostitution is an agreement for an exchange of sex act for money. Sex act. Yes. Okay. So if you get anything like that, anything on, on audio where she agrees to it, hey, yeah, I do this for 20 bucks, there we go. He gives the bus signal, we go in. Well, this is better. This is on videotape. Um, and I'm not sure, oh my God, who wants their massage sessions videotaped? I don't know. Who put the video in there if the police department stuck it in there or if it was part of her you know this uh, spa owners deal okay can i back the card up a bit yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah. back to your your pop yes um my question is who is the officer who's on craigslist looking for solicitation uh, why is that officer on there okay so actually it was the other way around okay. we found a craigslist ad yeah for, but why where were you looking and why well we do that that oh. was that was part of the thing we do we would go to there and there was another thing called red book i'm not sure if you're familiar with red book but red book is just a it's just a i won't even go into it but it's just a, a hotbed for prostitution okay uh um, okay i did I, and Again, we naive. Were, and and so and the other thing that was kind of crazy was most people in our department. I would say ninety nine percent of the people in our department, if you try to look up something like that using a network computer, it you get the little nanny that says you're not allowed to go on this page. Well, we had all of those restrictions lifted. We could look up anything wow. on a network computer. Insight, folks. Yes. And there are people that are kind of like watchdogs in the department to see what you're looking at when you go on a network computer. Uh -huh. They don't care. If you've got carte blanche, they don't care what you're looking at. Wow. So you can be on Facebook because there are there's also prostitution on Facebook. Uh, back in the day, it was MySpace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so You're one of my friends. My top <laughs> yes. seven. Is that what it was? I don't know. I can't, so, I can't remember back that far. Yeah, but... Uh, it was. It was. We would just routinely go on wow. Red Book and uh, and Craigslist looking for illicit ads, and then we would kind of go into the neighborhood and we would ask the neighbors, "Hey, that house across the street? You see a lot of people coming and going? Oh yeah, every hour there's a new car out front. Bing, 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 bing. All right. Bing. Yep. Huh. You know, um, the question begs. Setting aside human trafficking, and I don't mean to push that off as a small topic but as far as prostitution goes is there anything really wrong with that um you know what i mean it's a way of living for people uh what they're looking at though is that neighborhoods some neighborhoods prefer not to have it <clears throat> it's like blight. A, yeah it is blight. It's, it's a blight and we would have and the biggest clue for us is we would get a lot of complaints on a particular massage parlor where the people would notice that 99% of the clientele is men. Now, by and large, not to say that men don't have, uh, they don't get a massage, but by and large, you're going to find that it's mainly women pampering themselves. And if it is a man, he's probably going in there with a woman. It's like a couple's massage thing. Mm -hmm. So it is, and even this would have been 15 years ago or more, way more unusual for a man to go in by himself to a massage parlor. So that, was, right. a, that was a red flag. Let's segue into this next story quickly. Yeah. Because there's a real parallel here. <laughs> there kind of is. Let me tell you, your old buddy Uncle Lou wants <laughs> to tell you a little story about a woman named Dawn Moon. She spent the last decade dreaming of opening her own salon after getting licensed as a nail technician, Ronnie. Go get him, Don. But just as her dream is starting to come true, Moon's storefront in Sandusky, well, there's a name for Oh, him, dang. Ohio, 
is causing some controversy because of, its, because of its suggestive name. What is it? Hand jobs, nails, and spa. Hmm. So you're saying that's suggestive? In a happy ending sort of way, yes. <laughs> this is an idea I've had for 10 years, she tells Yahoo Lifestyle of the name of her salon. It's a play on words. Is it? Is it really? I don't think it is. <laughs> but really is exactly what we do as nail techs. Hands, she says. Yeah. Uh, and although Moon believes that the name, the name of the the salon is logical <laughs> others have had mixed opinions which they have graciously shared on social media i'm sure yeah what the hell are people thinking one person wrote <laughs> while another said take it down i cannot believe perkins allowed you to use that name offensive wow huh yeah okay well all of the attention however is simply being viewed as free advertising by the owner and the many people who support her and her hand job. It's a lot. Right. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, the talk about the sign started almost immediately. Huh. <laughs> I can't imagine. With 24, within 24 hours, they had a massive social media attention, she says. Honestly, we've had way, way more positive feedback and a ton of support and very few who don't love it. Uh, the reaction from those who are fans of the idea include a number of the local businesses who have openly shared their support for Moon in response to a Facebook post asking if people were offended. Still, the town has yet to approve the salon's <laughs> signage because of Moon's failure to submit a request for a sign permit. Oh, you've got to have a permit. Oh, I know, boy. I used to be in the sign business. That's going to come back and bite her right there. Yeah. Until she does, the town can't review her comment on the proposed name. When asked if Moon has a plan B if she's rejected, oh, I gotta hear that. I gotta hear plan B. Perhaps happy ending. Yeah. Of course, although we aren't speaking on that at the moment, in the meantime, she is still fulfilling requests for merchandise. I'll bet she's selling a butt ton of t shirts after a few people have suggested making shirts with the slots. Hey, well, there you go. Uh, we're in the process of making the design now. <laughs> She's got a winner on her hands. <laughs> well, you know, it's marketing. It's all about right. marketing. Right. And there's a zillion nail places in every strip mall, in every small town across the country. And each one of them just says nails. How are you going to differentiate yourself from the rest? Call it set of nails. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I always I, I do. set of nail. That's what I've seen. Set, oh, set of nail. Set of nail. Oh, yeah, yeah I get it. Oh, okay. Uh, I do appreciate, and I'm a big fan of puns and what have you. I know you are. I I like clever names for businesses. We had a tow company locally that we used when I was towing a lot of cars for the sheriff's department. Uh, Tic Tac Toe, but I've instead seen that. of T O E, it was T O W. Uh huh. Love it. Yeah, Love let's it. use them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got a sense of humor. So, yeah, mm -hmm. be creative when you come up with a business name. <laughs> I just can't help but picture the guy that walks in there with the wrong thing in mind. <laughs> Into hand jobs. Yeah. How much is that, by the way? <laughs> yeah. Can I see your hands? Just 40, wait a minute. 40 is what I normally pay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you have it. Another episode of Men Are So Smart. And sometimes not so smart, well, yeah, we think Mr. We, Kraft. I think we proved, proved it here. Yeah, yeah. We, well, we do that every episode. Well, just us. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Well, Robert Kraft, though, no. he went above and beyond. Yeah, Call of Duty. <sighs> uh, okay, so uh, thanks. Appreciate it. Give the show a like. What do you say? How difficult is that, friends? Pretty easy. You just click the dang button, and you move on with your day. Yeah. And we're very happy. Yeah. Also, since you're since we're having a happy ending here. <laughs> <laughs> Once you subscribe to our channel, you never know what could happen. Could yeah. be worse. Click the bell and you'll get notifications each time a, no sh a new show comes out. A no we have, show. We have plenty of no shows also. <laughs> yeah, we had one Friday. Uh, uh, yeah, every time a new show comes out, right? I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Yada, 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 yada. Man, so smart. Right. <laughs>